This is where we really begin the um, packing process, where we really take our time and make sure we have every single section labeled. The very first step we're gonna do is we're gonna take a Ziploc bag and write number one on it because it's the first practical uh, part of the exam that we're doing, which is the hair cutting section. I wrote in parentheses 50 minutes so that you will remember during the test that it will be a 50 minute process. You will first do the zero and then the layer hair cut to follow. In this bag, you will need water bottle labeled H2O or water, two pair of shears, thinning shears, all purpose combs, minimum of two, razor with a guard, a box of razor blades that go with the razor, mini broom and pan and clips for sectioning. So let me show you how this looks. You will have the water bottle completely full because it, there will not be an opportunity. The reason for um, two sets of shears is in case you possibly drop one, you can just move it to the side with your foot and use a second set of shears. Then you'll need a pair of thinning shears. These are the shears that have the teeth in them so that you'll be able to show them a different way to cut hair. You only need one cutting comb or an all-purpose comb. I always say to take a minimum of two, sometimes three, because if you drop a comb, you can't pick it up and reuse it for the test. To know that it's an actual cutting comb, you will see little tiny numbers on the edge of the comb, which will indicate inch marks. They will ask you to cut the hair between six and a half and seven inches. You will also need a razor with the guard I have the guard sticking out, but I'm gonna push it back in. Remember the teeth go towards you and the guard will be used at all times and the razor will be used when they ask you to cut hair a different way. You'll be trained for that ahead of time. You will also need six clips and neck strips. And this is the part where you use the dust broom and pan when you're done with the haircut. So this is the items that you need that are necessary for packing. Remember, there will be no water provided for you. Make sure that your water bottle is labeled and full for this process. I will show you the bag one more time. Good luck packing bag number one.